Hey everybody, what's up? Alright, so I did it. I made dough for the first time the other day and I made the dumplings and the chicken and dumplings which turned out great. I ordered a new Vonti pasta machine. And it, it doesn't make the pasta, it just rolls and cuts the pasta. It's open. Second. The handle and the clamp. This is the attachment for to cut the noodles, either angel hair or fettuccine. And this is the roller. And the blades fit on here like this. Fits together like this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I got it upside down, that's why. Put it right side up, Ed. There we go. Fits together just like that. So we're going to get all set up. Make some noodles. Okay, so I didn't have the mic on uh, when I was showing the Avanti pasta press and cutter. And it, here's the handle that you stick in. And crank it so okay we'll set that aside for a minute you know what this means hello welcome to spectrum the country's largest cable tv network get tv internet and phone for only 29.99 per month for each when bundle this is a limited time offer hurry spectrum simply gives you more for less further details press one otherwise hang up the call Hello? Thanks for holding on the line. This is Alex. How are you doing? Are you doing okay? How are you doing, Alex? Yeah, I'm doing okay. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I'm calling you from Spectrum. And uh, I want to reduce the monthly bill for your TV, Internet, and landlines first. Okay. So we are running a special promotion to save the money of the customer. So, uh, like, uh, uh, as you are an existing customer of Spectrum, so that's we are calling you. Okay. So, uh, please let me know that how many TVs you have with Spectrum right now. I got one in the living room, one in the dining room, one in the bedroom, one in the kitchen, one in the basement, and one in the garage. You have six TVs. One in the living room, one in the dining room, one in the bedroom, one in the kitchen, one in the basement, and one in the garage. Okay, so you have six TVs. Okay, do you need me to repeat that? No, I do not want you to repeat <coughs> that. Okay. So the number on which I'm calling you, this is your cell phone number or your landline number? Uh, it's my cell phone. Okay, so we are going to punch a discount under your right account. So let me verify what they can do for you. So. Okay, so the number on which I'm calling you, please open your text messages. You have received a six digit verification number from Spectrum to punch a discount under your right account. Well, I just, I got a message from Mumbai. Because this is a message from promotional department of Spectrum. It, it says Mumbai. It'll, it'll ring five more times while we're doing this. So every every video I've watched, old Italian ladies, southern ladies, uh, a German woman, all give you a different recipe. And I finally found one recipe that said two-thirds of a cup flour to one egg. I like that. Simple. So I've got one and one third cups of flour and two eggs. And now I'm gonna bring you down here, I hope. I'm gonna 
bring you down here to the bowl and they say to I'm gonna get a glove just a second let me get a latex glove let me do this in a sterile type fashion black surgery to make a well flour let me get a fork and add a little salt Bust an egg into that well. I gotta get rid of the egg. Sorry about that. Bust another egg into the well. I'm not the best egg cracker, as you can see. Some of them add like an extra yolk and you beat the eggs up a little bit. I've got extra flour here just in case. I said start mixing in the flour. And you can do this in a food processor. And then if it starts getting dry, you can add a little water, which I don't have handy right here. But we'll just keep mixing this in a little bit at a time. There, there were so many different recipes and types of flour and the best ones that I found just went with all-purpose flour and it was similar to making the dumplings but the dumpling recipe was a little bit different had more stuff in it during this. It takes a while. Starts picking up the flour. Keep going. And you want it, they say you want the dough kind of tough. Now I'm, I'm new. I'm completely new at pastry, believe me. Pastry is something I never thought that I would get myself into. And this is just sticking to my glove. So this is a learning experience for all of us. Hey, would you do me a favor? Get me some water in a glass. Cold water.
ditch the glove. Hmm. off your hand. This isn't going to be easy. some of this out. Do this with a food processor next time. This is a first. Okay, we're going to split flour all over our rolling surface here. Try to get my hands reasonably clean. Okay, so hold on a second. Okay, where are we? Over here. Gonna throw some flour on it. Fold and push. this for a long time.
Okay, it says to cover in plastic. and rest for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour. Let that happen. Well, I just learned uh, Queen Elizabeth has passed away at the age of 96. 70 year reign as the queen. Long live Prince Charles, King Charles. Okay, this is rested. We're gonna start Put down flour. I guess I'm gonna get end up getting flour on my hands anyway. I'm take this out, and I'm going to start with about a third of it. Take this middle third and I'll wrap these back up so they don't dry out. Might even stick them in the refrigerator. So, first you have to uh, Roll them out a bit by hand. And we're going to get it kind of thin. This isn't a whole lot, but we don't want a whole lot tonight. This is a learning experience for me. It's a first. Absolutely. Thick up there. That can roll out quite a bit. Really, really thin. It's not sticking, that's good. Okay, I'm going to get the cutter set up. Okay, being a complete amateur, this might be the best one that I've done here. So, let's put it on seven. For some reason, my numbers are backwards, and the widest setting is seven, and the, the skinniest one is one. So, I don't know why that is in the right roller.
six. I made them pretty thin. I'm only going to go to number two this time have some thicker ones. Well, no, I don't want to do that or they won't cook the same. So next time I'll do number twos. Where's that stupid phone? Just let me look and make sure it's not my neighbor. It's going to be a big one. Time to get it. not the neighbor. Jesus. Hello? Your nipple, buddy. Okay, this is the final one. out cut them up Oh, 
noodles I made out of one and one third cups of flour so far. Almost time to feed the dog, she's flipping out. So, this is a guitar channel, as you can tell. As you can plainly see, I've gotten bored with guitar channels. Uh, they're, they're not offering anything different in the much way of content. It's all redundant. There's some good players out there. That's what you got to look for. As far as gear channels, uh, there seems to be more gear for the bedroom player, maybe, than, than guys that are out performing live in the band. It just it really seems that way to me. Don't you know? I hate to say that, but... It's what it seems like. Stuff is tricky to handle. Flower. Okay. We wanted to have a smoked pork chops on the grill and noodles. After this, I might be too tired, tired to cook. I might be eating leftover pizza. This is work, man. I'm telling you. I'm happy about buying this or not. The old bags of Mrs. Miller's Amish noodles from the grocery store were working out really just fine. for a while. I got this many noodles out of one and one third cups of flour and two eggs. 
and a lot of elbow grease, man. I'm telling you, a lot. They seem to be drying good. They're not sticking real bad. I got one little clump here that seemed to stick. Let's pull it apart the best I can. There we go. I think that's, that's the hardest thing you got to watch out for is the noodles sticking together, your dough being too wet. We'll go with it. All right. I'll be back later.